Jeff Stewart Hosey at Portrait Finder here. In this short, sharp video, we're going to show you exactly how we create a group, backtest it, and find a high probability trade uh, to trade with Portrait Finder Pro to pair trade. And then we're going to do a live trade straight into Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation so you can see how the semi auto trading function works. And you can watch that happen live. So, uh, first things first, we are going to need some tickers. So we go to the ticker spreadsheet that we automatically provide you when you subscribe. And we're going to look at these tickers here, which are in the industrial goods sector and the industry subsector is general building materials. All of these have been screened by us to be uh, minimum $2 billion market cap, minimum $2 million a day of traded volume. So then once you have your tickers, you go to create group. You hit the create button here and we're going to call this general building materials IB because we're using IB data quotes feed we set as IB historic feed we set as IB and uh, we're going to enable alerts all of these settings here which are the back test settings are the same as the top 30 US equities pairs we're not going to change those what I am going to change is uh, the trade value per side instead of 10,000 I'm going to make it 1,000 okay because we're going to live trade this and I don't want to put 20,000 of trade into the market nor pay those commissions for no reason. Okay, so that's set. We just say okay. Then we paste the symbols we've just copied into the add symbols section. We hit add symbols and uh, Petrofinder Finder Pro is pulling from IB historic adjusted close data for the last four years on each one of these symbols. That's been done. We then go to the back tester and we find our group and our group is called General Building Materials IB. We highlight that, we hit OK. And uh, right now there's a couple of filters set in the back test screen. I'm gonna take those off and I'm gonna show you how to set those. So you'll see how that works. So right now there are no filters set in the back test and we're gonna back test all of these symbols against each other. So we highlight those, we hold down shift and highlight all of them. We hit find pairs. So now what PTF Pro does, it's pulling all the data into the back tester from the database and it's running um, a back test on every single one of these combinations. So you'll see the first one here is Aon AMN, this one versus this one. Then it's Aon AWI, this one versus the next one. And for each of them, it's showing number of trades, the correlation, the co-integration, the compound annual growth rate of the equity curve, the maximum drawdown, the profit factor, the gross profit, the total commissions and slippage estimate, the net profit, average net profit of trade, percentage of winning trades, average days in trade, and then going this way, we have a, a whole bunch more things you can look at on a per pair basis. But for the uh, simplicity and brevity, we're just going to look at these for now. So it's going down and it's running through every single one of these combinations. You don't necessarily want to look at all of these because they're not all what you're looking for. So that's why we use the filter. So we hit this little filter. We say custom. And for example, co-integration, we're going to say only greater than or equal to 0.88, which for us is our cutoff to say it's co-integrated. And you can see how it shortened that down, that list. There's only about eight pairs now. We also want to say that there's an average net profit of trade of at least uh, greater than or equal to, so let's say $300, average net profit per trade. So if we do that, uh, we are down to no trades. And why is that? Hang on, I think I had a typo. Let's... Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Sorry, of course, because I'm using 1,000 a leg. So let's say we were to screen and say instead of 300, which is our usual screen, we see something greater than or equal to 30. Okay, because we're only trading it 1,000 aside. And if we do that, we see we have four great co-integrated pairs. They all have more than $30 average net profit to trade, and three of them have greater than 80%. Uh, average winning trades. The one I like the best is probably BLDMDU because it's got a great compound annual growth rate. It's co-integrated. It's got 50% correlation. And uh, most importantly, it's got a very low max drawdown. So it's a good reward risk. If we hit that, we can see the equity curve here in the bottom left. And so it's going from bottom left to top right. Nice. Well, it could be smoother, but it's lots of great trades in there. The winners are very small. The losers are very big. Then you've got the ratio chart over on the bottom right. I'm not going to study that, but let's say you um, you say you want to put this pair onto your watch list. So you would just hit save pair. And Pair Trade Finder Pro is now taking this high probability, great looking pair to trade and putting it on your watch list. So then we just come back to my watch list and you can see it right here. 
and you can you can study it further you can go into fundamentals you can look at pair charts decide if it's what you really want to trade and whether the fundamentals justify you trading it but we're not going to do that today I'm going to show you how we uh, we would semi auto trade this when a trading signal comes up so what do we need we need a trading signal well we don't have one so for the purposes of demonstration we're going to go into the trading signals tab we're going to take this back to um, March 1st and we're going to find an entry signal on that pair. Okay, so that was BLD MDU. So here we are. BLD MDU, there was one on March 31st. Okay, so let's pretend that this had just happened five minutes ago. We got the email and we're coming into our PTF Pro and we want to we want to trade this. So we would just hit resend at market. Now when this original signal triggered, uh, I don't know what the ratio was at, but it's, you know, it was negative 3.13 standard deviations. And it triggered because we were in entry at 2.7 or greater. So that one triggered because it was at negative 3.13. What the resend at market function does is it uses today's market prices and our readings on, on ratio and, and standard deviations. And it gives you those right here. So you can see if you want to trade it because it might be better or worse than the original entry. So the original entry was at negative 3.13. Right now you're at negative 0 0.06. So you would never enter this trade. You would have already exited when it hit one, negative 1 standard deviations. Okay, but we're going to show you how to send it anyway because it's a demonstration of the semi-auto trade. So uh, because in, uh, in Systems Preferences Interactive Brokers uh, tab, you can set the semi-auto trading... Uh, Let's, let's just do not send it. I'm going to show you that right now. So you can set how you want to do it. So if you go into Interactive Brokers here, first you have to check Enable Data. Then you have to Enable Semi-Auto Trading. And then you get to choose what type of order, Limit plus Limit or a Pair Trade Order Type. Here we've chosen the Pair Trade Order Type. And I will show you why. This is a great feature of Pro, and I wanted you to see this. And then um, you have a box here that says Confirm Orders in uh, Trader Workstation before uh, sorry, in Pair Trade Finder before sending to Trader Workstation. We always leave that checked. If you uncheck this, PTF Pro will send these orders straight into your Trader Workstation. You will still need to confirm them there, but this is like a double confirmation here. We use that for safety reasons, okay? So let's go back here and let's hit resend at market. Say we were going to trade this. It's telling us it's going to go long, uh, 45 shares of MDU at 21.89 a share based on current market price. That's $985 for that leg. And then it's going to go sh uh, long. Sorry, this is the short. It's going to go long BLD at market, uh, about 12 shares at about uh, whatever the market price is. Okay, and at currently at the current market price would be about 927. Okay, so that's the that's the trade. What happens is with a pair trade order type. It's going to fill 100% of the short, and then it's going to automatically dump the long leg in at market, and you'll get filled immediately on that. So we'll say send trade. And what happens? We go into our IB Trader Workstation, and oh, great. There are two trades in here because I was doing an earlier version of this video with 10,000 a leg. But you can see you've got MDU BLD, and it is, it's going 45 limit short on MDU, at 2189, which was the limit price on the short, it's currently trading at 2182 to 83, last trade 2180. So if we hit transmit, that won't get filled. Okay. And then attached to it in IB is a market order for BLD that we know is going to give us the right size amount based on the exact market price at the time. So if I hit this now, it's going to sit around and wait. And I don't want to sit around and wait. So I'm going to cross the spread because we're only trading a thousand leg. Who cares? And we're we're selling. So we're selling short. So I'm going to say I want to get 2182 because that's the bid. And I hit transmit, and boom, both orders get done. Um, it's still sitting there, I guess, because it's an odd lot. And if we pull up our trade log, no, it still hasn't happened. So we're waiting. I imagine we're waiting because it's an odd lot. Let's cut the let's cut the ask. We are not getting filled. Very strange.
Okay, we got filled. Took a lot longer than I thought, and that's because it's odd lot. So if you saw, saw what happened there, um, we sold the MDU at 21.82.5, and we immediately, let's just pull up our trade log. So we sold 21.82.5, and we immediately bought 12 of BLD at 76.83.65, and the uh, commission was one buck on each of those. And uh, usually it's in immediate, but I guess because of the odd lot and maybe this there isn't as great liquidity in this as we'd like, uh, it took a little bit of a while for us to get filled. But that's how it's done. And you can see that those two trades executed as a pair trade order type only had to click once and they were both filled reasonably quickly. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope that was instructive and I wish you all happy trading.